Right now we will look at gender dysphoria in adolescents and adults. First we have looked at gender dysphoria in children and now we will look at gender dysphoria in adolescent and adult which is mature group. Um, criteria a common for both and is ke andar um, continuity hai, just specific symptoms hai. that is it manifested by at least two of the following features. One is a marked incongruence between one's experienced or expressed gender and primary or secondary sex characteristics or in young adolescents the anticipated secondary sex characteristics. Now uh, children don't have secondary sex characteristics yet so that's why this criteria doesn't fit in there. But here the secondary sex characteristics are either going to happen like in adolescents or they have happened in both cases they are not happy with it so there is incongruence if girl is becoming a girl girl is becoming a woman or boy is becoming a man so all those secondary sex characteristics um, are incongruence with what they actually want to be and the way they have been behaving because if it's a boy he had been behaving like a girl or if it's a girl he or she had been behaving like a boy so ab jab wo secondary sex characteristics aa gayi hain jisme which actually make them more stand out as distinct uh, of their gender which they uh, are unable to recognize or unable to accept so it it causes dysphoria in them number 2 a strong desire to get rid of one's primary and or secondary sex characteristics because of a marked incongruence with one's experience expressed gender um or in younger ad young adolescents a desire to prevent the development of the anticipated secondary sex characteristics aur ye bahut bahut zyada desire hoti hai ki ya to ye ho na aur agar ho gayi hai so they want to get rid of those three a strong desire for the primary secondary sex characteristics of the other gender a apni ho na number 2 they have to have the secondary sex characteristics of opposite um, gender a strong desire to be four of another of the other gender five treated as the other gender not ke wo ho balki wo dusro se bhi expect karenge ki agar ladki hai to uske ladke ke taur pe treat kiya jaye aur agar ladka hai to use ladki ki tarah treat kiya jaye or some alternative gender different from one's assigned gender so uh, we now talk about third gender too so that's that's dsm5 has put in an alternative gender here as a class now the sixth point in the criteria is a strong conviction that one has the typical feelings and reactions to the other gender or some alternative gender different from one's assigned gender assigned gender mean the one which he or she is born with if it's a girl it's a girl if it's a boy it's a boy lekin inka sirf ye nahi hai ki wo samajh feel karte hain aur dusron se chahte hain उनका कन्विक्शन भी होता है आई मीन दे स्ट्रांगली बिलीव इन दैट के उनका टिपिकल दे हैव फीलिंग्स एंड रिएक्शंस ऑफ द अदर जेंडर मतलब दे दे फील दैट दैट वे जिस तरह लड़कियां सोचती हैं उस तरह वो सोचती हैं जिस तरह लड़कियां जिस तरह के जज्बात लड़कियां महसूस करती हैं उस तरह के वो करते हैं और अगर लड़की है तो वो लड़कों की तरह सो दे दे हैव अ स्ट्रांग कन्विक्शन मतलब दे बिलीव जो जब आप बिलीव करते हैं तो देन इट बिकम्स रियली डिफिकल्ट टू 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 काउंटर इट बट देर आर सर्टन वेज ऑफ डीलिंग विद इट विच मे क्लिनिकल साइकोलॉजी कोर्स कैन टेक केयर ऑफ um so here the sixth point is that the st they, they um, have a very strong conviction that they feel as the uh, same sex and they feel, they feel like a uh, sorry not same sex but the opposite sex and they think like them and they that's why they belong to them they even react to things like a boy अगर एक लड़की है तो वो कहे वो रिएक्ट करेगी तो उसका लगेगा कि वो रिएक्शन लड़कियों लड़कों की तरह करती है सो so ये इसका मतलब है कि ये कॉग्नेटिवली बिहेवियरली और इमोशनली जो कि आपके तीन इंटेग्रल पार्ट्स ऑफ योर पर्सनालिटी हैं दे हैव बीन एक्चुअली टेकन केयर ऑफ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर इन दिस डिसऑर्डर दे डोंट ओनली बिहेव दैट वे दे आल्सो बिलीव इन दैट दैट दे आर दैट वे दे आल्सो फील दैट वे सो दिस इज द डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया फॉर जेंडर डिस्फोरिया इन एडोलेसेंट्स एंड एडल्ट्स